Hello everyone, it has been quite some time since I last uploaded, but I am back now with a short video. So if you see in this video's background, I am drawing a map. Now, this is not the only thing I've been working on over those past three weeks. Discluding the intro I posted, I only actually have a minute and a half of the movie down, but it's mainly an artistic movie, so it's gonna take a while for me to get all the lighting and backgrounds right. Here's a little sneak peek, just so you know I'm not lying. So anyways, back to the map. This is the country slash continent of Serenus. This is where Autumn and Wendy live, and where the entire movie takes place. So I guess I should mention it now. This movie is very, very loosely based off of Animal Jam. I've added a lot of my own stuff to it, so I like to think of it as my own thing now. Serenus is not the only country in this world. There are also seven others, which includes Rosity, Quility, Tulik, Alpines, Esmia, Cynthia, and finally, Jamal. These aren't actually important to the movie, I just thought I would tell ya. Now, before we look at the map and take a tour of Serenus, we gotta know how the towns are ranked. You can pause the video to read this. Now, without any further ado, let's take a look at the map. Starting in the far northwest, we have the prime class city, Hurain. Moving a little farther down on the mainland, we have the middle class town, Ashfell. If we move a little to the right, we have the high class town of Hollytown. In just a couple hours walk, you would be arriving at Dylanville. And look, there's Quiet Star's mini castle. If you're a fan of the Phantom Chasers book series, then you'll know that this is the prime class city, Jasmine City. And right next to it are the Misty Plains. A little farther to the south, we have the high class town of Solaris and the middle class towns of Redwick Rest and Woodhurst. A little farther down, we have the Unici and the Seagull Plains, which houses many low-class towns. A little farther to the right is the giant Ezra Forest and the tiny Leo Desert. Here, we have the middle-class town of Aetore and the Aria Plains, where the beginning of the movie takes place. Following the movie's path, we'll arrive at Parrot Gorge and the middle-class town of Junetown. Continuing to follow the movie's path, we'll arrive at the Monroe Plateau and the middle-class town of Dewside. Bordering Dewside is the largest body of water on Serenus, the Everland Sea. After crossing the Everland Sea, you'll stumble upon the high-class town of the Minkin Marketplace, home to the largest and most popular marketplace in all of Serenus. It is also located in the largest moor in all of Serenus, the Endless Moor. Also located in the Endless Moor is the Middle Class Kingdom of South Shield. Just in the woods beyond are the Middle Class Towns of Willowdale, Shadow Ridge, and Wingston. The main characters of the movie only end up passing through Willowdale though. About a day's walk from Willowdale is the Prime Class City of Fantasia. Veering a little off course from the movie's main path, we have the Middle Class Town of Meyer Falls. And here we have Division Summit, the place in which the movie ends. And also, I just have to say it, I really like the way I drew the mountains. And finally, right behind Division Summit and on its own little island, we have the prime class city of Cryptia. So yeah, that's the map of Serenus. It took me like three days to finish, but I really like how it turned out. I hope you all enjoyed. The music used in this video was The Curious Kitten by Aaron Kenny and Demeter, Goddess of Farming by Gareth Coker. See you all again sometime this July. Bye!